that to know Him, to know Jesus Christ, that is, uh, that is our privilege, that we might know Him. Before, you didn't know Him. But if you've been saved, if you've been born again, and, and that means that at some point in your life, you accepted Jesus Christ. You accepted the report that God said about His Son. That His Son is the Lord over all. And you believed on His name. Now I never want to cut down anybody's testimony about when they got saved. I never want to make light of it. But I do want to say this. Paul says, examine yourselves to see whether you be in the faith. You know, uh, I, I didn't get to save until I was 21. So I knew my salvation experience because I lived 21 years with myself. And I knew I needed help. I knew that I was a sinner. And, and I remember reading one time that Jesus uh, was in Simon's house, not, not Simon Peter, but a Pharisee had invited him to dinner. And then a woman came in and began to weep over his feet and wash, and wash his feet with her tears and to dry them with her hair. And Simon said to Jesus, or he didn't say to Jesus, but he thought, you know, if this is really a prophet, he'd know who this woman is. You know, they'd already judged her and written her off, right? She's not worthy of salvation. Look what she's done. Look at her past. We know this kind of person. God doesn't want that kind of person. Boy, did Simon miss it, didn't he? And, and he said, Simon, let me ask you a question. Two men had a debt. I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. Two men had a debt. One man owed $10. Another man owed a million dollars. And then the man to whom the debt was owed, he freely forgave them both. Can you imagine that? Freely forgiving you a debt. And Jesus said, who do you think is going to love that person, that man more? The one who forgave the $10 debt or the one who forgave the million dollar debt? Now, uh, Simon may have been a little hardened heart, but he, he was not dumb. He knew, of course, the one who, forgave, who he forgave most, he's going to love him most. You know, he, he's going to be the most appreciative. And Jesus said, you know, he that, that is forgiven a little bit, well, that they just love a little bit. But those who have been forgiven much, they love much. Boy, when I read that, I just, oh, Lord, that's why I love you so much. I see what I've been forgiven. And, and actually, um, Jesus would often say things in that way. You know, like one time he said, I've come not to call uh, the righteous, but what? The sinners to repentance. Well, really, who, who is righteous among us? What's our righteousness like? Filthy rags. Right? There's none good. No, not one. The heart is desperately wicked, deceitful above all things. Who can know it? The Bible doesn't give the heart of man a pretty picture. He doesn't hold anything back when he describes us. But that kind of, when Jesus says something like that, He's assuming that, hey, we, we've all been forgiven much. Right? Even if you, you know, I look back at my own life and I say, well, you know what? I really wasn't that bad of a kid. I only stole a little bit. I mean, I used God's name in vain a few times, which God says that's blasphemy. I, uh, I did all kinds of things. You know, where the Ten Commandments were concerned. But here I am thinking, I'm okay. I, I wasn't that bad. But we've all been forgiven much. Right? And he that's forgiven much loves much. And so, I have often seen... Now, I'm just giving you an observation, okay? I've often seen that people who get saved a little bit later in their life, boy, there's, there's, there's such an appreciation for the grace of God. 
There's such an appreciation for the mercy that God has shown. And I think part of what it is is, um, like with me, I, I lived 21 years. I saw the way that I was. And the, and the fact that Jesus loves me anyway? Oh my goodness. I wasn't, I wasn't lovable. And so, if you were saved maybe when you were two or three or different testimonies I hear, I believe that's God's plan. Just that you're, you're a young child and you're growing up in a, in a godly family. And then it comes the day that you realize, hey, I'm a sinner and I need a personal Savior too. So that's why Paul says, examine yourself. I know the day that I got saved. It was quite a day. And so, but back, getting back to chapter 4 here, he says, therefore, because you, you, you can know Jesus now, because you have that privilege to know Jesus, because of that one day your, your body's going to be changed, your vile body's going to be changed into a glorious body. Because of all these things that are happening. You know, you, you read the scriptures and it, it tells you the future. And if you're a believer, your future's bright. 